everybody, I'm Danny DeMonica, and this is the, the ever-typing James. What happened to your nails? I got my hands back. Oh. Press on. I may borrow a few. <laughs> these, these are homegrown. I just don't have my nail polish. <laughs> Ugh. I got a lot of press-ons. I have an entire collection. I, I may need to do something about the thing. I might need to get a new ring light eventually. I, don't, I just don't like having to clamp all that shit in the back, and we need all the space we can get in this apartment. Either way, I'm Danny DeMonica, and if I never say this again, and this might be just to be like, just to get Jonesy to call me a lucky bastard, never underestimate pawn shops, folks, because you can get some real cool shit for just a dollar. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, Josie, it ain't even just Clerks, it's the 10th Anniversary Edition. Could you, could you believe that they really said that we could come out with a stack of, like, seven for a fucking dollar? No, seriously. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. go to your local pawn shop if you like physical media. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the box, the... Yeah, the back... Jamie's got some shit to show off, too. Like, and I'm saying, there, there's... Like, literally, it's with seven for a dollar. We both just <laughs> got seven movies. Like, I, I mean, I'm just saying, we got peak fucking cinema. You know what I'm saying. And you can definitely tell the difference between the two of us because of what I ended up getting. Okay, in my defense, I would have grabbed Zombieland, too, but you wanted Zombieland. Rangers, the new one. Oh, you I picked those, the damn Power Rangers. Yeah, I, I thought this was a, a really great movie. That's wh that's why I had such a hard time picking seven, because that was my seven. <laughs> you wonder why with that extra ten that's... fucking minutes. And, and sixth. Talking about we different and, and pulls out five movies I'd watch. But I got horror movies. You got... Oh, yeah. Power Rangers real scary. I know what you do to the Yellow Ranger. Mm -hmm. Poltergeist, A Quiet Place, The Beyond, pa Power Rangers, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Scooby Doo, Zombieland. That is four out of seven. That is over fifty percent. That is a majority. But a majority. I, horror movies. I know you grabbed them, and also I, I'm the one that quotes Poltergeist because it's part of Eddie Murphy's stand-up. This is a nice place to live. Get out. Too bad we can't stay. That's where I get it from because of that movie and Eddie Murphy, and Eddie Murphy's stand-up special. I like horror, just not all horror. I'm more of a child play, you know. Well, I'm not really a child, but more of a see to Chucky motherfucker. I mean, look, if Jennifer Tilly's got big titties, I'll be there. Oh, like you wouldn't be right behind me. You, I mean, you, Elvira, and Jennifer Tilly be the gothiest three-way of all time. Anyway. <laughs> I was about to say, I mean, if it was Elvira. Interesting fact, her tits are not as bad at, as, as big as they look. It's legitimately just how they position are them you, in the dress. Are you kidding? I've seen pictures. She breasts boobily. Yeah, but they make them look bigger. Hey, I know, I've watched Miss... Oh Wonder no, Wars. there's... There's there's something specific I have to show you, because I saw it and I was like... I thought it was just how they positioned it too, and I was just like, great googly, boobily. Cause there's a there's a specific movie like like she's on a art thing. I'm trying to remember. She's hold on. I, I know how to I know how to look this up. Sorry, give me a sec. The space between Dolly Parton and Elvira is Jennifer Tilly, and that that is that is six that is six chest bombs that if they fall forward in Japan, somebody gonna have some flashbacks, let me tell you. <laughs> Shit. I'm trying to look it up. 
But no, that's that, that's besides the point. Cause there was an album cover where she's just yeah, it's this one. If there was a good shot of thing helping me out, but it needs to be bigger than that. Uh, there we go. Drop an image. Make large. I need the largest one you got. <laughs> Why is it? There we go. Oh. Okay, you whores. Proving me wrong and shit. Hold on a minute, folks. I am maybe a little too proud of my history. Welcome to Nerds of the Asylum 1607 edition. Now we're more right. Garu! Garu! Garudi Rutherford's Rudy Rutherford Fairfeather. How dare you? We're in the middle of Texas. I'm going to get assassinated for something. It's because I'm queer, not because I'm a witch. <laughs> You're next. What's <laughs> so bad is the fact that if you think about it, neither of us would have had rights back then anyways. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Good night. I'll see you. I'm going to bed. Good night. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. I, I have boobies. The only thing I was meant for was reproduction. Sweet Jesus. We're not going into the other part of it. Yeah, I know. I like, know. Just, I was literally nothing more than a breeding mule. That's Elvira. She breasts boobily. They are... They yeah. It's dead. Position my ass. Yeah, they look bigger in uh, Mistress of Darkness until she has her <laughs> shirt off so she can do the tinsel dance. First time you've had to take a lap in response to one of my jokes. Good evening, sluts of the asylum. Hello, Dateless. Merciful God. <laughs> we haven't even gotten to tonight's game yet, and we're already. We're already. It's already peak. Oh god, I have you like almost out of the frame. I am so sorry. Right. We're still working the angles and the lighting in the new place, but there is no god here, unfortunately. Yeah, Garu has made I sure mean, that some bitch will not be joining us tonight. Like, he he made Garu made sure. Garudi Rutherford Fairfeather, ladies and gentlemen, made sure within the first five minutes that God will not be making an appearance. This is now an atheist convention. This this is just gonna be just completely out of pocket. It's I looking that to, way. I have to correct you on something. What? It, it's... No god thing about me seeing I am sorry, but my lord would be very upset if we were in pocket. Is it... She worships Loki. That's the closest thing she has to a Loki altar, folks. Not the Marvel guy, the, the actual mythy one. The so. one who willingly fucked a horse. If it wasn't for the fact you told me the story like 18 times, I would probably be more shocked. But like, I'm desensitized now. Garu, however, with the 1607 edition joke here, thinking we're live from Salem, Massachusetts and shit. <laughs> oh, God. Ugh. Either way, what we got for you tonight, I don't have a physical copy to hold up, so. Either way, someone tell my boyfriend that uh, we, I have his movie. Come get it. Either way, um, sometimes I forget that Jamie has an altar for Loki. But either way, what we got for you tonight is West of Loathing. And also what we got for you tonight is much darker. Is it because I'm wearing the hat? No, that's not doing shit. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Either way, we got a game for you. No, this is Jamestown. Horrible. Horrendous. Terrible. Bad, even. Either way, this has gone long enough. We got a game to play, folks. <laughs> so, let us grab the controller and get on over to the... There, that's better. Why is this up? Hold on. Oh, right, that's right. There we go. West of Loathing, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, it's Bobcat Hickok. I wanted to make sure. Warps. <laughs> Let me just. I forgot what the hell we've been we did because it's been like two weeks of us doing this shit. Actually, nah. This is the Louisiana Territory. Sweet Jesus. And here I thought it was the Oregon Trail. All right, I'm gonna hop out of stream now. Well. Oh, it was good seeing you. Good Davis. seeing you. Oh, yeah, we gotta go to the pickle factory. Mm. Hopefully there's nothing else going on that makes us really go ick. Yeah. Uh... Oh, there's the one thing. I like how you're just like, please don't go to the pickle place. Look, we can do anything but. I know, but I just want to get this over with and get the taste out of my mouth because. <sighs> okay. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so, so we just got to go over here. So we got the professor's house. We got the silversmith's house. Snake Spring Rescue Mission. Oh, shit, my thumb slipped. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess we fighting. Oh, that that's a lot. suck at hitting you. Ah, damn. I just wanted to put him out of his misery. <laughs> uh, the Pickle Factory ain't labeled as new, so, uh, you know what I was talking about the cows? Their teats are swaying with their movements. They did not need to do that. Swaying titties. Swaying titties. It's swaying titties. Thank God you're wearing a jacket. <laughs> You've already done enough to rile up the lesbians. <laughs> by the time uh, by the time this makes it on social media platforms, it is all Pride Month is over. I right? give it up. <laughs> no. I know. Yeah. I know. Um, <laughs> the reasoning the pickle factory isn't labeled as news. We went there, we started going in, and then we both started having issues. The lesbians must awaken. I will awaken the lesbians. At least breaking something in them. <sighs> Nerdsy Asylum. Come for the games and weird shit. Stay for the lesbian awakening. Because God knows I ain't awakening anything. <laughs> hey, based on some streams, I put half these some bitches asleep. <laughs> Gosh, real life none. Er, yes, I'm Sister Tabitha. I'm Baba uh, Cat Hickok. What's with the gods? Well, what with the cow attacks and so on, I felt my faith would be better served by running this place as a clinic rather than just a church. I also sell medical supplies if you'd like your healing to go. Do you need any errands run or anything? Funny you should ask. I've been experimenting with the healing properties for purple grass that grows near here. I'm sorry, what? But I've run out. Wait, Would what? you mind picking some up for me? It grows near a cave that Pur makes an unusual humming sound. Pur oh, shit. Purple grass? Purple grass? Sure, I think I know the place you mean. Purple purple grass? What is wrong, you bitch? What you need? Are we really? I mean, we have blue grass. That, that ain't the type of grass I'm talking about. No, I know. But that ain't that type of grass. Blue grass. It ain't that type of party. Um, by the way, the, at 
skinning thing is more a snake oiler thing, but you can still use the high she, snake shit later at a specific. She level. wanted them. She wanted them high healing priestesses, healing high priestesses, if you will. Is this is this game made in Colorado? I'm I'm just saying perhaps because you you can't prove you can't tell me that this lady ain't out here trying to heal people with purple haze. Where's wrong to bitch you when you need him? What, would you like Where's to, the cannabis expert? Would you like to know something actually pretty interesting? Wait, what, she got it for a glaucoma? <laughs> uh, I was actually going to say, um, some people would use actually use that as healing properties because it does cause a numbing to uh, pain. So, I mean, there's a reasoning why uh, so many people want marijuana to be more accessible for those with cancer. I... I I appreciate the knowledge, but you really logic brain the shit out of my joke. I'm oh. over here going, she's growing to Jimi Hendrix. And I'm going, it's logical. And <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. I'm not saying she wrong, but she bold. I Legal out there. It's got to be in Colorado. <laughs> she said, I got purple grass for sale, 20 a gram. God damn. Good luck. Jen. Jen. No, no, Jamie. No. I'm more of a rum person myself. Humming K. Uh, a rustling sound in the bushes draws your attention, and you decide to investigate because what that's what adventurers do. No matter how bad of an idea it will probably turn out to be. Dear God. Oh, it's a goblin. I think I gotta move the DVD so you can be closer to the mic. Yeah, yeah, go go forward. Just explain, explain it. You've been explaining so far. <laughs> Let me get it closer. Hopefully it don't die on us. I know I need new equipment, but we will have to do it for now, folks. There you go. Go, go, go for it. <laughs> want to be closer to you. I know, I know. Uh, the rustling turns out to be a goblin. A goblin wearing, uh, clown makeup. And practicing their cartwheels, and mostly failing. Eventually, they give up on tumbling practice and start repeatedly throwing a shiny metal ball in the air and catching it. You see what happens when you let Michael, a.k.a. the overgrown Riolu, trial for Barnum and Bailey? <laughs> after he gets depressed after a Ducks game, that's what happens. <laughs> wow, uh... God! Hello, hi! What you doing? Yellow. It tosses its single ball up in the air again, but distracted by the conversation, misses the catch. <laughs> okay, but why? I call him because joining the circus far away to traveling. Far, far to traveling, and then to popping. Ah, okay. I guess that makes sense. Kind of. What, is this your way of trying- your goblin voice, is this your way of trying to attack- attract Cedar the Barefoot? That's what's going on here? I'm not trying to be a gerblin. Pretty damn close. <laughs> if a goblin that is also a clown is absolutely the last thing you want to deal with right now, I totally respect that decision. <laughs> I'm just like, you guessed it. I'm good. And there's the purple grass right there. And that was it for this area. Oh, it's this area. Now we going uh, the fuck back. We going the fuck back. <laughs> you come across a goblin marching in, in the woods. That they're taller than a typical goblin, probably because their boots are taller than a typical goblin's boots. In fact, these boots are so tall they must be half stuffed with socks to keep the toes from jamming the goblin in the groin. <laughs> the goblin sees you and marches over, attempting to look intimidating instead of awkward. Hey, hey, human. Hey, what are you doing oh, in this place? There's a this raid. This is my ground to stomping. Uh, hi. Uh, thanks for the raid. Noodle Cat does things. You're just tuning in. We're playing West of Loathing and... Well, you caught you caught my sibling with the 
with the voice. voice. I, that's Jamie. I'm Dana DeMonica, and welcome to Nerds of the Asylum. I like Go the ahead. Cindy voices. I, but I gotta, you gotta hit it. Oh, well, do you mean your stomping grounds? Uh, you mean your stomping grounds? What? You, you're lucky I know goblin tongue. <laughs> uh, your boots, which are very tall, I am seeing? Yes, tall boots to having. So also tall am I. That's cool, but they are uncomfortable seeming very. I do having no sensation in my feet now. So this is fine. Oh no. <laughs> he gonna come back and he gonna be Lieutenant Day. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. Hey, how you doing? Hello. We, 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 hello. Just, we just gonna leave the goblin alone. His his circulation issues are his circulation issues. We just gonna go. We gonna. No. You leave the you leave the goblin to his stomping. Maybe in like a year they'll be properly broken in. Hmm. Goblin to Dan, you ain't got no legs. <laughs> what? Am I wrong? Nah. But he got on 32 pairs of socks. <laughs> 32 pairs of socks. I don't know about you, but that, and I don't give a damn. 32 pairs of anything you got on. Buddy can have diabetic socks on that improve that sort of thing. He's screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Were you able to find the humming cave and the purple grass? I feel like a damn drug dealer because we all know purple grass. All right, lady, I got your 32 kilos of purple grass. Give me my 100K and I'll be on my way. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you very much. Blessings upon you. Thank you, too, Sister Mary Clarence. <laughs> if nobody gets that reference, I'll explain it later. <laughs> but I'm just saying, the sister can act. <laughs> what? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> it's been a while, but that one hit, gave it to me. Oh. Does she have another one of those... Big, beautiful, depressed rancher candy. Hate to raid and bounce, but I gotta eat dinner. I'll be lurking. Hey, as long as you enjoy your stay, we get it. I'll I'll try to keep the funny down so you know root beer doesn't go up your nose. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby. I, I am desperately looking for. You know what I'm looking for. What are you trying to sell? Oh, this is my stuff? Yeah. Oh. Oh, she ain't got shit. She's a healer. Well, Garu said not to have the next mech stuff. A vampiric yodel? Man, we got all this cool shit and we ain't allowed to... Ain't that a bitch? Ain't that a bitch? I'm all here in goth regalia. Same with my... We're out here being cozy goths and shit. And we can't do the next mech. Alright. Sorry, Sister Mary Clarence. We ain't got that much money. Um... Well, look, we'll give to the tithes and offer the next time we go to church. It's a damn shame the closest I get to church is watching the Saints on Sunday. Now, come on. <laughs> let's go. All right, let's get this shit over with. I don't give a damn what kosher, what pickle factory this is. This ain't kosher, goddammit. Yeah. Th those of you that are just tuning in, you know what? I I I'm cool with throwing hands. Come on, bring it, bitch. Smelling like Limburger cheese. Give them the old one, two, three. Bop, bop, bop. Sit on down, son. <laughs> Ectoplasm. First sister act and now Ghostbusters? What the fuck am I gonna unlock next? Dan Aykroyd? <laughs> That'd be cool. Be cool. Wait, wait. No, it ain't shit. I just realized that. It ain't that. shit. Oh, uh, okay. So we've been here before, but we didn't click in that it, the missing letters make it into Haunted Pickle Factory. This is the worst fucking episode of the Magnus Archives I've ever seen. It does say Hagen United Pickle Factory, but it's obvious it's supposed to say Haunted now, and it just clicked in for me. I'm, I'm mad I ain't catch it sooner. Fed up, even. Okay. It smells like different forms of pickles. That's fascinating. 
Halves. Halves. Ow. Uh. It says factory activation lever. Do I pull the lever, Chrome? Don't. Don't. Not yet. Let, let's. Okay. Uh. Warning. The warning. Cook shunts are to be Cook. by qualified personnel only. Isn't that what that says? Cuck? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if he sits in the chair at the hotel room. <laughs> Wait. Why Why is this ghost hitting the gritty? Why is he de Why is he depressingly hitting the gritty like he just listened to a TV girl song? You approach the ghost. Gotta, gotta, can't sleep until it's right. We're going back the fuck away slowly. Slowly, slowly. We're just going we're gonna walk the fuck back because, look, horror movie logic says something wrong. It ain't right. Something wrong. Uh, well, there's another one. Oh, buddy's doing the what? Look at this. Oh, he's the. I've never seen somebody depressingly dance to the village people. Motherfuckers out here doing the YMCA. See that. It's not right. It's not right. Get his feet. Uh, all wrong. The temperature. It's not right. It's all wrong. Not right all, at all. All right, then you do you. All wrong. Okay, so I'm wondering if we don't have to fight them. I mean, I ain't trying to throw hands with them. Well, it's possible if we somehow get it right they move on you know this is a good this is a good time for garu to start chiming in do we have a strategy guy in this motherfucker because i i really actually don't feel like whooping the ass really this, this ain't there ain't no on there whooping the ass because they ain't want they don't want to be here like like this is like whooping a this is like whooping a fucking scab in the middle of fucking gotham city during a thug re a thug strike, Dude, you know what I'm saying? All I put in was West of Loathing, and look what the first one is. Why was. is the first search Pickle Factory? What the hell going on in the Pickle Factory I need to be worried about? I got some plastic chips in the fridge right here. What the hell going on in the damn... What's what's going on around here? I'm concerned. You're concerned? Because I'm concerned. I'm over here... It's one of them games we should be real happy I ain't allowed to just, you know, liberally have the second minute come around. Because I'd, I'd, I'd have a rock, or I'd have a rocket, rocket propel grenade launcher on the ready. Jamie's going to tell me what the fuck is up once we get through. God damn, how many advertisers they got? These motherfuckers really got some bills to pay to be throwing that many out. Yeah, I, I don't want to fight them for the relevant numbers. Because literally it says right here, if you need to get the information again, you can either commune with the gravestone, requires 20 mysticality, or fight the ghosts in each room to receive an item that has the relevant numbers on it. I'd rather just do this. Yeah, just look. I'm going to guess some numbers. A uh, two, one, uh, I three. I think we have to turn it on first. I bet. Oh, do we have to turn it on? Yeah. We, we ain't got a choice. Nothing on something in the machinery rooms must not be set up correctly. Ah, uh, okay. This is the game we're playing. All right. All right. Swing um, the numbers. Sing the lotto. <laughs> okay, so it says about using levers one and two to set the right most that to one. Then work with those levers to equalize the first two that's to read 16. The fuck? The fuck numbers do... 
Do they mean the little dots? Uh, I believe so. I think they're, it's to try moving these, like, equal. Oh, god damn. Okay, so... What happens when you go to t one? Oh, it goes down. Then what? Well, it didn't say about using three. Okay, hold up. It says 16, right? That bitch is on like two, so three, four. Okay, it's on five now. Seven. Nine. I'm not saying the number after that because I know how some of y'all are in the audience. Fucking shit posters. <laughs> you and I both know. You and I both know. Fifteen. Funny number gooper. Let me see. I gotta lean in and count the damn screen. This is absurd. One, two, three. three. Gotta make it go up one more. Okay, that bitch is on 16. Three is on 16. So we got the Stone Cold Steve Austin room. What's next? <laughs> we don't have it correct. What you mean we ain't got it correct? We have to have them equal. We got to have them equal? Yes. I thought you said number three had to have 16 in the bitch. All three vats must be equal. The simplest way to solve this puzzle is to use levers one and two to set the rightmost vat at to one. Then work with those levers to equalize the first two vats to read 16. Once that is done, pull the uh, rightmost lever five times will equalize all the vats. I love that these guys aren't even here by their own will. I don't like it. I think it's bullshit. I think it's right. Oh, by the way, we... Oh, hi, Raw Dimension. We just... We helped, uh, we helped the nun get some weed earlier. That's what you missed. Uh... If you leave the room, you might be able to reset it. Nope. <laughs> Boy, how did we screwed? <laughs> hmm. All right, so we gotta oh, get. Oh, maybe if you pull the lever, it'll reset. Like the one outside. Yeah, you're right. Let's try that. Pull the lever, Kronk. Wrong lever. Damn. I've been just hoping. Okay, so they gotta be even. Yeah. Okay, I've said about using the first two to get the rightmost bat. So, hopper three to one. Yeah, I did that. That shit is down to one. And then use it to... Equalize the first two vats to read 16. Oh, so it's got to be 8 and 8. What's the next one? Uh, you need to get to the salinity to 976 parts per thousand. Levers left to right control the hundreds place, tens place, and ones place of the salinity value. Use them to set the appropriate salinity. This shit making me yawn quick. <laughs> oh, damn. How many? Nine, 970, what? 976. Got us out here talking about pickles. Pickles. Uh, starts at 93 degrees and must be heated to 190 degrees. To cool it, you can use the steam release valve. 
and to heat it, you can shovel coal and then use the bellows. The release valve lowers the temperature by 10% with a lower bound of 70 degrees. The bellows increases the temperature by 3% of current temp coal, uh, coal, rounded down into a maximum of 245 degrees. More mathematically, after each use of the bellows, this, these motherfuckers got me doing math on my day off. Okay, uh, an easy and robust solution is to first reduce the temperature to 70 degrees by repeatedly using the release valve. Add 50 coal to the stove and use the bellows, which is 175 percent uh, degree, uh, 175 degrees. Add three more coal and use the bellows to finally a uh, final time to reach 190 degrees. That bitch is down to 70 degrees. So how many? I gotta put fifty. Yeah. This, this is some tedious shit. I'm saying that first and foremost. One, two, three, four. Oh, we having a ball tonight, ain't we? All right. Um. So do we pump it full of? And use the bellows. To 175. Cool. Alright. Add three more coal and use the bellows a final time. Yep, that's where we need it. Um, yeah. uh, once all three rooms are operating correctly, you can use the control switch in the main room. You are awarded three ghost. Up. Which goddamn hopper is it? Which one? Okay. All right, fine. <laughs> Except if this is exciting. <laughs> Wait, it's got eight. So if it's eight and eight, ain't that sixteen? See why I'm confused. Work with those levers to use first. Or so do they both have to say sixteen? So it's not eight and eight. This feels like a fucked up version of Die Hard without a Die Hard with a Vengeance. Oh, they all had to be fucking equal? Yes, that's it? what I said. I thought you said the first two had to all be equal. All three vats must be equal. Oh. I... God, this is absurd. Huh. All that work for three pickles? No wonder this place went out of business. The ghost from the cucumber or room drifted through the door, gives you a grateful look, and clatters to the floor as it is replaced with piles of bones. Uh, the ghost from the salt room drifts through the door, gives you a grateful look, then collapses into a pile of remains. The ghost from the vinegar room drifts through the door, gives you a grateful look, then vanishes in a puff of bones. Let's get I let's get our asses the fuck back to town. Yeah. Uh, you catch a whiff of something that makes your eyes water. You trace it to the source of a vividly colored red shape hanging from the scraggly little plant. This must be the southwest southeast western <laughs> murder pepper that Feller at the Jewel was looking for. Your finger and thumb immediately start throbbing it as you pluck the pepper. You toss it in your rucksack before it can do any more damage. 
God damn. No, you can't have South, it on your taco. Southeast Western. Southeast, but that's... What the fuck happened to him? Uh, you okay, buddy? I'm pretty sure my leg is broken, so... No. What happened? Traffic accident? No, it's just sort of broke all of a sudden. I guess I don't get enough vitamins or whatever. Your nutrition can be difficult in this day and age. I'm gonna need some medicine for this. Can you help? Sure. Thanks. There's a mission up north. The nuns there run a little hospital and sell medical supplies. Can you get me some broken leg pills? Some what? Did he just say what I think he said? Yeah. Broken leg. Broken leg. Yeah, I could get that right off the shelf next to the deparalyzation <laughs> pills. Truly. I mean, really. Technology at goddamn work. Does he want it next to the fucking snake oil? Dear God. Oh, look at the Oh, no. Oh, I thought Buddy was about to get rid <laughs> run over. Wait, is he going to get walked over? <laughs> this game ain't shit. This game ain't shit. What in the world? It's the Gherkin Brothers. And please, I don't want to talk about it. It was really weird. I believe you. Here's the reward. Huh. Looks like these things are still twitching. They Better lock them up just to be safe. Lock them up? Fuck that. Burn the bones, woman. I, I'm curious. Go. I, I want to see. Man. That's fine. So this is what happens when they say consecutive life sentences, huh? That they got your ass rude. in the afterlife. They really said consecutive life sentences for these motherfuckers. God damn. Now we know why that one was faded. That's so fucked. Oh well, don't do the crime. <laughs> but hey, guess what? Okay, hey, good to see you. You know, you've really cleaned up the area. I'm, fl I'm out of bounties for you. Does that mean I get to be sheriff? No, but I guess you could be a marshal if you want. Oh, what a coincidence. That's my middle name. Well, thank you again for all your help, marshal. Bobcat Marshall Hickok. Hickok. That is a redneck ass name. That is a NASCAR driver, probably. So we ain't got shit else to do in Dirt Water, so that that was quick, so we just goof around mm, for the next cooler. hour. The, the 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 pepper. Yeah, you're right. The kitchen. Find me a murder pepper? Yeah, here it is. Ah, oh, nice big one. That'll last a while. Good going. Okay, so if you're still looking for stuff to do, I need someone to go check my mail. Man! Dick get head. in your damn cell! I ordered a new saute knife, but I haven't got time to go fetch it myself. Here's the key to my P.O. box office. You raggedy ass dickhead. Do I look like an errand boy? Really you are. I ought, to, I ought to get a pair of gloves, put the murder pepper on it, and before it eats through the glove, just bitch slap him across the face. One good time. Make him look like Two-Face. He can go be a district attorney in Gotham for like a week. What? I'll do it. Think I won't. I have the business end of this elbow. There better be like $32 million in this bitch. So I'm gonna shank him with it. Take out his kidneys and sell it on the black market.
Okay, I only need one more favor from you. But mm -hmm. it's the most important. I used to have this recipe for a very secret jerk sauce. But my jerk friend, Dave J, stole it from me and then he died and took the secret to his grave. Literally. I mean, he was bur buried with it. I gave up watching Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Finals for this. Uh, you want me to dig up his grave? He's dead. He won't mind. Uh, sir? Bro! Sir. My man. With what we have known in this game so far, we're gonna fight. We gonna have to throw hands with a jerk because this jerk has sent us to get some jerk sauce from jerk chicken from jerk ass Jamaica. This fucking jerk right here. Name one Jamaican place we got. I'm surprised half of Copper's Cove actually seasons their food. Unfortunately, the only Jamaican place I know of ended up going out of business and it upset me because they had such good goat curry. I guess you could say the curry was the goat. Hey, damn it! If I'm gonna miss the Stanley Cup Finals, I'm gonna be too. I'm gonna get me three puns. I'm gonna get me a fucking hat trick tonight. <laughs> Alright, let's find this motherfucker. Do we just have to find a random grave? Where is this grave exactly? Oh, the Dave. No, was it the Dave Yard? Then, what was the name again? I fucking forgot. That shit had me bored to tears, huh? I think it was it would have been in the Dave. In the Dave. Yep, Dave uh, Yard. Uh, Dave Jake. Didn't we already beat the shit out of a Dave J? I feel like we whooped the ass of a Dave J before. Maybe. Oh, oh, there it is. You dig up a grave and pry open the coffin. Instead of a corpse, it contains a garbage bag. Oh, hell no. Uh, you reach into the garbage bag and are surprised to find that full of pudding? No, it's not just pudding. It's pudding and motor oil. Who would do this? We, we not, we don't, we got to. Uh, you finally manage to reach all the way to the bottom of the bag and retrieve a sudden lump from the bottom. You unglob the wad and dry it off, then wash your arm in a nearby ditch. This better be worth it. So we didn't whoop nobody's ass. I was expecting a fight. I, I, this is like, this, like, up until tonight, this has been a fun RPG. This feels like I've eaten a rice cake. You, you know, the ones that they're like, oh, it's a good, delicious dessert. And it's just, it's fried air. Ain't nothing there. <laughs> You know the bad ones, the the really low fat sty styrofoam tasting motherfuckers. Yeah. No, I mean the real bad ones, not the Quaker ones. Oh, okay. Not the Quaker ones. Okay. Yeah. No. No. Because at least they learn how to put caramel on, and I ain't got no qualms with it. I mean. I like the apple ones too. The the caramel apple. What the hell he gonna have us do this minute? Uh, here, let me give you a little something for all your trouble. It fell in the slot, but it's so good. I got the cowboy hat. Lord have goddamn mercy. I like I did, did. They got me doing some shit tonight. Like, I'm, I'm doing shit. <laughs> This is this has been a stream, hasn't it? It's one of these streams of all time. Okay, so I think the only other thing really you gotta do is get the pills. Oh. It's worth something. Most of the hats are. Okay, well, put that bitch on. Okay, we go get the pills, and then we got some other places that we can go. Yeah. We kind of did quite a bit of shit this game. Yeah, rescue mission. Ch -ch 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 -chip I told you this place sucks, but it's the one place I can remember that does suck, honestly. 
Chippendale rescue mission. Chippendale. I'm desperate, folks, okay? I'm trying. Uh, broken leg pills. For 200? Oh, buddy's gonna have to just get popping with the broke 50. I'm sorry. We. <laughs> the church might also suck, but I can't remember that's because I went in unprepared or not. It could be. I'm just This is this is the first time it's Oh, it's Roger and Sally. Sally. Oh yes, yes, let's go get yes, yeah, let's let's go trade. I'm a man of principle, and the principle tells me we need to get rid of that. All right, so Garu wants us to get rid of all the next max work, so we're gonna finally get rid, take care of that shit. Get rid of that. That should be all the damn next max. Saying Beefus' legs were so big he had to sit in two chairs at a time. <laughs> I mean, if thick thighs do, you know, end lives, I'd be okay with this. It's bit. It's. Find a wrecked bank stagecoach with a strong box in the back. It's too heavy to carry, but too locked to open. Now you pop the lock open and find a ton of meat inside. And since the serial numbers aren't sequential, the bank probably won't be able to trace it if you keep it for yourself. Awesome. Hey. Money. Hey, look, we just, all the money we just spent on that some bitch, we just made it back, so I ain't even mad at it. Look, look, we could be do, we could be do-gooders and all that shit, but we got to make it out of profit, too. Hey, capitalism's a bitch. That's all I gotta say. Two things, I feel like a new man again, or at least the same man with a new leg. Uh, that's good. Go drink some milk or something, okay? He waves and skips happily away. You, ooh. Oh, shit, and that's just in time for break. And break couldn't come soon or goddamn enough. Lord have <laughs> mercy. I, I, I don't know why, but this is the part where this game has gotten... This is, like, the first time I feel like this game's gotten boring a little bit. Either that or we just running out of shit to do. Well, thankfully we got, like, very few things left to do, and then we can probably travel to the next section. Thank God. Like, I, I like the game, don't get me wrong. It's a fun game, it's just... I don't I don't know what's going on, this bitch is slow. Good. Man, beforehand, we were doing fine. Yeah, like, beforehand, we were great. This is the first time where I'm just like... Feels like I'm fighting through Jello. The damn thing's been on more Quaaludes since, than that one glass that I took from Bill Cosby. But anyway, we'll be right back at the... Uh, we got ads to run, and this is like the Nerds of the Asylum Halftime Show. Go grab a snack or dinner or something, come back, and we got more of this for you. Hopefully it starts ticking back up the right way soon. We'll be right back. It's because you're dealing with your last task. There's Garu! <laughs> Would've been nice to hear <laughs> The other 55 minutes. We'll be back. <laughs>
hey, hey, wait a goddamn minute. Cut, cut the music. Hey, guy in the booth, cut the fucking music. Hey, hey, Garu, Garu, yeah, you, Garu. I read that. You ain't shit, you jiggling blue beak burb bitch. Look here, you Garudi runner for feather feather. Knock your shit off. Alright, now we're gonna go back to break.
Garudy Rutherford Fairfeather, report to the principal's office. Garudy Rutherford Fairfeather, report to the principal's office. You know what you did during the break, damn it. Either way, hi folks, I'm Danny DeMonica. Welcome back to the Nerdsy Asylum Halftime Show. I'm Danny. That's Jamie. We're tired. We only got 30 minutes left in tonight's stream. Um, <laughs> We're doing West of Loathing, and we seem to be coming towards the end of our time in Dirtwater. Is that where we're at? Dirtwater? Good, 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 good. So. <laughs> I, I thought Garu would have said something with the with the entrance, but apparently not. <laughs> Either way, what we got for you is pretty good RPG so far. It's, it's not so much that it's hit the skids. It's more along the lines of it's hit the... You know how there's a lull in the action? We kind of hit that because we did all the major stuff before the move. So we're just kind of doing cleanup duty for these last 30 minutes. Um, how are you liking the game so far? Uh, it's a little slow right now, unfortunately. Hopefully, once we get the met the last few uh, yeah, areas I, done, we'll be good. I think it'll pick up the next city. Because I'm going to have... Because I'm probably going to have to ask Garu this on a serious, non-impish question. But we're going to have to figure out if... Uh, what you call it? We gotta figure out if I gotta do another grinding session off stream. So there's that too. Um I, I'm not afraid. Garu just likes Tim Fate. The the the, the jello made wings just likes Tim Fate. Give the dude his pepper. Yeah, we already did. We gave him his pepper. We gave him his jerk jerk recipe. We gave him the murder we we did all that shit. We gave him and the we, knife. We even gave old buddy in the street the the leg the leg the broken leg pills. Which I, I'm telling you, that's probably how they made Viagra. Think about it. I mean it is a third leg. What I'm saying! <laughs> Danny, you are as threatening as a rubber knife. I could gouge somebody's eyes out with a rubber knife, goddammit. Can't the see I'm threat I can be menacing if I want. Tell him. Tell him! Jamie, use your words. I, I know you got words. Why are you smiling like that? Jamie, this ain't the time to be doing this. Jamie. Jamie. Sibling of mine. Start start telling the people. Start, start telling. Come on. Now, why is the smirk getting worse? Come on now. T tell him. Jamie is a flaming crowbar. You're as menacing as a rubber duck. You're about as threatening as a balloon. Come get him. Come on, come. Danny is a pillow in a black pillowcase. Mm. 
You some bitches are horrible. You some bitches are horrible. And wrong dimension ain't saying a damn thing either. Somebody come waking up and getting them by the fence. Shit. <laughs> Jamie, you got anything? Words? Come on. Come on. I. You right. I've seen your fan fictions. You need therapy. Now go ahead and start spewing. <laughs> Words! We only got 17 minutes in this segment. <laughs> Come on. Get him out. <laughs> choppity choppity. I research medieval torture devices. Yeah. I have a collection of fire starters. You guessed it. And? I have a bunch of knives. What Danny is have? Danny is as menacing as a raw onion. Them motherfuckers can hurt your fucking eyes and make you cry and all that shit. So yeah, see that 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 we're getting somewhere. I am up. Uh, I'm looking at looking at things hurts of because of a mind brain from earlier. So bear with me here. Oh shit! I'm sorry, honey. Hey, I give you yeah 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 no no the time out on the on the being dorky. Jay, if you're all right, we only got like 15 minutes in stream, and there ain't gonna be much. Like this is garbage time no offense those of y'all that are watching don't get me wrong there's probably gonna be something funny happening but honey take a nap stream's almost over because we got to go to fucking walmart in like 15 minutes yeah seriously 100 percent your health is more important than the stream yeah look we we have a good time around here folks but yeah there, there's moments where we're legit so those of y'all that are new here yeah this this is how we kind of roll so yeah I mean, those of y'all that have seen me in Garu server kind of already figured that shit out by now, but those of y'all that are new here, that, that's how it is around here. Like, <sighs> get some goddamn rest. I'll see you in voice chat, and I'll see you Wednesday in Waco, and I'm going to make sure those uh, clearance shorts on Spencer's are going to be yours one way or another. Uh, that's why I was late, that's all. It's just fresh behind my Oh, so you can hear me loud and clear? Bring your ass to bed. I don't give a damn if it's my bed, your bed. I don't give a damn if it's a ceiling pasta pita. Bring your ass to bed. I love you. You did the, the last thing. My, look, my self-esteem is low. It, it ain't worth the migraine, honey. Go to bed. <laughs> All right, all right. In the spirit of this, I've been asleep since 11 this morning. Oh, shit, he has to stay up then. All right, if I can't talk you out of it, honey, let's at least get back to the game. I, I can't talk him out of it. He's got a good point. All right, let's go ahead and get this going. Okay, so now we just pretty much have... Uh, Cleanup duty. Also, I... There's a bunch of new people tonight, so I'm over here like, let me not fuck this up. <laughs> uh, for... uh... Damn, he said, I don't fucking know what we're doing. No, we don't got any missions. He mo that motherfucker said, I don't know. Okay, we got the silversmith house. Yeah, let's go to the. Let's just hit everything that's new on here and go from there. Sign says silver bullets make an uh, apparatus. Help yourself. Uh, the workbench has a little burner and a crucible for melting silver things and some bullet bolts. It seems pretty straightforward. There's also a vice so you could smash silver bullets in, into needles if you wanted to. Ooh. So we don't have to do anything here. This is just going to be helpful in the future if we run out of bullets and stuff like that. Oh, we got werewolves? Hey, there's, there's a thing you can... So it's helpful later. Okay, that's cool. We, so we'll come back to this. Just keep this on the map. Uh, professor's house. Yeah, so a good source of needles. 
Off to the side of the trail, you spot one of those weird cacti that produce seal holes, cans of tuna fish as fruit. As fruit? What, what, what is this? Oh, sadly, we can't do it. Uh, is that a Twitter space of the Anaheim Ducks versus whatever the Chivas are playing fucking Mario Kart? What timeline am I in? This is the only time you're going to see the Anaheim Ducks play in June anytime soon. I'm telling you that right now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, uh, Garu did say that the bullets don't matter so much to the cow puncher. Oh, well, that's fair. So it's a source of needle for needles. I know, but I just like busting a cap in somebody's ass, regardless of game. The <laughs> pow -pow. machine leads you to the ramshackle house in the middle of the desert. Hmm. Look, another thing you can forage. Uh, the, uni the universe gave me so many ailments because unchecked, I would conquer the world easily. Yeah. Get on the top. Anyway. So the needles for the bullets is a really good deal for lock picking. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. Oh, this is probably gonna have ca oh coffee cactus. Found your cactus. Oh, more death, coffee. death wish cactus. <laughs> I've actually been drinking a lot of death wish coffee as of late. Michael has his own brand of coffee. Boys had a death wish since he was born. <laughs> Who is this? Who is this? Look at this magnificent mustache. God damn. Uh, excuse me. My name's Bobcat Hickok. What? Oh, I didn't notice you. Come in. I'm Perfect. not used to visitors, but the folks generally call me the professor. Is there something I can do for you? <laughs> well, I found this beeping gizmo, and I sort of followed the beeping, and it led me here. Well, I'll be. Certainly led you to the right place, young man. This is El Vi... El Vibrato! I got Raw Dimension talking about he's a power... I I said the top. I didn't say the fucking Dom. El Vibrato? El Vibrato? Well, I said I wanted something to happen at the end of stream tonight to give me something. And this, this, this. Y'all wilded. When don't we? When don't we? When is it not a wild and occurrence around here? So Danny is a suck. I'm a switch, motherfucker. Garo, I will jump in your goddamn voice chat. You invited El, me to your server. El Vibrator <laughs> Technology, and I happen to be as much an expert as anyone alive today. I'm not helping my coffee. Garo's out here being out of pocket. He wants me to go. What he wants me to do is what I did during break, because he got me to be so. Like, I wasn't fed up, so I did this jokingly. That I, I'll just go into voice chat and just be like, look here, motherfucker. Like, that's his goal. He's told me as such. Go ahead. Ew, what now? Me <laughs> on stream again. Like look at him. He's right. He's even going, ew, what now? <laughs> He's even questioning this. <laughs> He's questioning the fact. Is it jelly or lube? What is in the jar, man? Brito. They were an ancient ra race that lived here long before humans. <laughs> well, they mostly lived underground, so they might still be living, so as far as I know. Never seen a peep of an actual person, though, just the machines they left behind. What were they, probes? They were probes, weren't they? What's <laughs> really bad is I'm thinking I know it, where, uh, the, I think it's the humming cave that we got this thing from. The humming cave! And my brain, Elva. um... Oh, my brain went with the humming cave with alien probes. Oh no! And my brain, oh, no. my brain went to a certain um thing that women use a lot. Oh, what the Not, fact? What you gonna go to the pickle factory and go get some cucumbers? No. Is that what you're talking? No. No. <laughs> oh mm. no. Because <laughs> I remember the shape is very triangular, and there is a bit of a triangular thing, and it's it's kind of like a. You ever see those um, like <laughs> things that people will put wood on to saw on? And it's uh, like triangular. I bet there would be some wood. I bet I would bet that there would be some wood. Yeah, th th there, there's a, there's one that's in the same shape, and it vibrates.
I'm keeping your... for dungeons, obviously. I bet it would be for dungeons. Well, they most... Okay, Dungeon uh, Keeper! Were they, were they space aliens? Could be aliens or genius pre-humans or an entirely different ter terrestrial evolutionary line. At this stage of investigation, it's impossible to say. Isn't it exciting? Here, let me have a closer look. The L vibrato being, being exciting. Yes, so. I'm just gonna give him the vibrator. Here, take it. Ah, as I suspected, this is one of their transponders. It detects other L vibrato technology and homes in. <laughs> That'll be why it led you here. I've got a thing I've been trying to repair. <laughs> he tinkers around with the transponder for a bit and then plugs a strange tone marble into a socket on it. There you go. Good as new. Just swipe up or down the turn it on or off. <laughs> Ain't no way in hell. He got mother, motherfuckers out here with stone vibrators. That's what that is. Stone vibrators. Oh, no. I am very surprised by some of the names of folks in stream... Good or bad, Garu? Good or bad? <laughs> Swipe. Now, I gotta warn you. <laughs> this device will lead you to abandon L vibrator technology, but it might also attract unwanted attention. I bet it would. I bet it would. I bet it goddamn would. Oh. 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 Oh! Mm. Well, I then. Oh! Some of you have some very interesting, um. Uh, names I, I'm, there, not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm Hey, how you doing? I hope you're enjoying stream. Uh, <laughs> I gotta warn you, this device will lead to abandoned L. <laughs> uh, from the L vibrator technology. You'll see what I mean. Just be careful. Oh Lord, this is this has been a this is quite the end. We wanted something exciting to happen, and now we got him saying, "Hey, don't turn the El Vibrato on to five. For her pleasure, I. <laughs> uh, okay, you know now that I think about it, you've arrived at a perfect time. In order to get anywhere further with my research, I need more samples of El Vibrato tech. I bet he would, horny for bastard. It eats up all the time I could be using to research it. Ah, I get it. Right, you're an, the adventurer of some type, so bring me back whatever devices you find, and if I can get them up and running, that'll benefit both of us. Alright, what do you need? The components aren't rare, at least as far as priceless ancient technology goes. For me, oh, about five handfuls of scraps. I should be able to salvage the last parts I need even that much. Oh, lord. We gonna walk away from uh, the Playboy shop, right? We just gonna walk away. Um, coffee, we gonna just, we gonna just, we gonna just, we gonna. Snake, snake spray? Spray, snake or, 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 or should, we, should, we, should we call it here? Or? Are you okay? You don't seem all right. I, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting prof Professor L. Vibrato to be like, hum a hum, till you come. Like, hey, I ain't expect that shit. That, that's our last stop. Oh, so, let's see. We got the snake spring. And that's it. So, okay, snake spring and we getting the fuck up out of it. Uh, you find a plant air for a dynamite store north. It's charred around the edges like the, it got blown here by an explosion. You mark that. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Yes, we are done! All of a sudden, we get a new location. Oh, God! Uh, but hey, Dynamite Dance Discount Dynamite Dare House. I ain't got no damn dare house. And where's the eye, cheap bastards? Jesus! Damn it, damn. Damn, it's like Michael after... It's like Michael and Michael's friend decided to have a cooking show. Look at the damage! Sweet Jesus!
can't let them motherfuckers boil water. I use a, I use a, I use a pie dynamite. We do not have that much. Ain't no way in hell. <laughs> Michael is going to yell at me after this. Dean Amite must be a tough. Ain't that bad, you southern fried fuck? <laughs> no, but your friend is. I've seen you showed the video and the pictures. There is proof of crimes against Food Network. God damn! <laughs> I try and get out and they pull me back in. <laughs> God damn. All we're trying to do is go into the snake spray. I just wanted to go to one ass, one damn place. Potted meat, grand. I mean, I'd have said you blood type is gumbo looking bitch. Their human is popped. Gary did not know oh, a human is to poppy. Er, no, we don't. Not in the sense I think you mean anyway. This meat, it is very large, all of it. A human contains all of this? It's right, wrong dimension. Why would my blood be green and brown and have okra and shrimp in it? Er, well, yeah. I could not bear to carrying all of that. That's fishy. Follow well, tracks for hundreds of yards or so, after which they suddenly stop. When they stop suddenly, there doesn't seem to be anything really nearby. Talk about some black, bad cholesterol. God. Alright, finally we're going to this damn spring. There's uh, a skull. Let's get there. this the hell over with. I got shit to do tonight. There's a bag near the campfire. Oh, we checked the, uh, bag. Bob. Bob, Bob. Go sit your ass down. We got the potted meat from it. Yeah, we, we got the potted meat. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna let you have the teeth this one time. I like teeth. I know you do. Okay, you got two things you can forage. You got that, and then, uh, one, I think you can get that. Oh, no. Yeah, you're way over level. You damn right. I'm making this bitch a walk in the park. The park. Snake spleen. Oh, this is an XP grinding area. Move, 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 moving on. Moving on. Because we, if we already over leveled as hell, what's the damn point? All right. Looks like we're done. Unless we want to try looking around for stuff. Garu, is there anything else we possibly got in this motherfucker to go to? This one is meant for snake oiler. Oh, so we really wouldn't get shit from this. Yeah. Right, it sounds like we bringing our ass to the railroad camp. And we're gonna take some hobbits to Isengard uh, while we had the smoke of a nearby fire, of campfire. You find a bandit snoozing cozily, but beneath a large and colorful quilt, which seems like a strange choice for camping here, right? And then he wakes up and jumps to his feet, revealing that the large and colorful quilt is actually a large and colorfully quilted pair of Pants. In stark contrast with his whimsical pants, he is undeniably hostile. I'm making fun of his pants. I'm tired of this shit. Now, where'd you get those ridiculous pants? Did you, your granny make those for you? As a matter of fact, she did. And they're warm and cozy. <laughs> and they remind me of how much my granny loves me, just like I love her. So, what's it to you? Okay, you got me. They're really nice. And I'm sorry, Randy. Apology accepted. Bandit pours you a cup of coffee, and the two of you chat for a while before you take your leave. Oh, that was wholesome. It's a lot better than El Vibrato. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> we did it. Hip hip hurrah! Fucking Ray. Uh, this 
guy should never be put in charge of the Switch. Uh, he's too busy playing with his watch to do any work done. Alright, so you said, uh, 30 minutes. Yeah. So, we're done for the night? Yeah. Alright, let me, let me hit the save then. Where'd the damn save button at? think so either way that was a lot to get done in about an hour and a half so we're gonna make this quick we're gonna make this brief Wednesday night we start Gex 3 in these here parts it's gonna be interesting we're gonna do this again next Monday night and then hey in a couple of weeks I've got solo streams coming up again which means yes those of you that have been waiting for side quest storage and the game queue and all of that stuff good news we we're finally going to get to tackling a lot of that. So, come back here Wednesday night, same time, same Twitch channel, and we got stuff to do. Speaking of get, getting stuff to do, we got to go grab a small amount of groceries over at Walmart. So, this is going to be quick. Y'all take it easy. I'll see you Wednesday night. Good night, everybody. Hey, play the music. Take your meds, drink water, get some rest, take care of yourselves. Have a lovely night. <laughs>